Hello and welcome back to Red Reptiles. Well, what can I say? It's my fourth video, I think, and today I'm going to bring you Frankie, my uh, my corn snake. And um, I've already filmed a little bit there about him and I had a little handle of him. And so I, I'm going to introduce you to my brand new corn snake, who's only a couple of months old. It's got this gorgeous colour and it's black, black colouring and pattern, I think, personally, I think it's great. Um, I'm still getting used to this video tape then, sorry. I should really get a script and read from it, hang it up on my wall or something. Um, fantastic pattern to it. Yeah, I've also got, before I drop in it now, because I dropped it in earlier on, an Instagram account where I'm hoping to put daily pictures probably i've already i've only had a photo of day and i've probably six pictures up already of my animals my reptiles do you know just random pictures really and um share my hobby with you guys and uh the public or whoever's watching probably talk to myself hello there hello there matthew um but anyway thanks for taking a look guys chat in now as well if you've enjoyed the video please like and do you know even better would be to subscribe it's not going to kill you, it's not going to work though, it's just going to make me feel good about myself. Um, anyway, take care guys, I'll see you in a bit, alright? Ta-da! Hello guys, and this is Frankie. He's a couple of months old, maybe even one. And, uh, oh, he's absolutely gorgeous, look at him. He's only a baby. He's only that long. I mean, he's in a little tub at the minute, which I will be changing very soon to a two foot by two foot vivarium which I've already got sorted out to have it's right next to him right here the tab goes in there the mount goes over there the gauge is by there there's his water bowl and his hide okay. over there oh he's in the water now look at him he's thirsty he's proper drinking by there I've never seen him drink before must have been thirsty just filled up his water bowl because he was he had run dry but uh, he's a bit skittish he? I don't know why he's um Normally pretty tidy when it comes to handling, I pick him up and he's quite uh, interested in his surroundings, he goes about and sniffs and licks and then he's off crawling everywhere, crawling, like slithering sort of uh, sliding. Anyway, I like to uh, talk about his colouring and his patterns for a minute. Personally, I think he's absolutely gorgeous as far as a corn snake goes. He's, uh, He's got uh, two different colours. I, I, I want to say he's black and grey, I do, if I'm honest. He's absolutely stunning. And the pattern he's got was absolutely... It's just, I, the, when I went and got him, there was the, uh, the shop had loads of corn snakes. They did. They had absolutely tons. They had a ton of red corn... Oops, dropped the camera. Sorry, guys. Rocky mistake there. They had tons of red and I don't know what it was, white or something coloured corn snakes they had two just plain white and two blacks i thought to myself do you know what by the looks of it, the blacks are the better colour to have i thought them is awesome and when he grows older when he becomes a man a man snake he'll uh, he be absolutely gorgeous and scary <laughs> anyway um I was told that he should be grow between five and six foot when he's fully grown, and that's a pretty big for a snake, all right? Well, for a newbie like me, I'm thinking myself, do that's big. But to, to all you uh, veterans of having snakes, or if you even have got one, you might think it's might think it's not that big. Um, he has got a hide which is right by there. I just taken it out because he's underneath his sleep bin, and uh, and uh, yeah. So I just wanted to introduce you to uh, Frank. Oh, Frank, you better look at him. He's so interested. I would try picking him up through. However, watch this now. Today, I did feed him two days ago. I fed him Wednesday and it's now Friday. So I know you're meant to leave him a day or two. So they don't uh, so they can digest the food and get rid of it. So it might be that. And he hasn't shred for a while. Like, see, he's digging his head into the ground quite often. As if he's trying to scrape it off him or something. But uh, anyway, sorry guys if I'm moving this camera is about as made you a bit seasick, motion sickness or whatever. 
still getting used to vegetating him and you will only improve once you've tried and you try and try and try so anyway thanks for watching guys if you liked the video please leave a like and uh, if you're new please follow it's not gonna kill him anyway thanks for watching Oop, say bye frank bye as soon as i start stop recording that little segment i picked him up thought i'd give him another try and he's become awful friendly well i say awful friendly this is probably He's, uh, he didn't mind being handled now, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of uh, handling action. He's very, very easy to handle. He wants to get onto the bed at the minute, if I'm honest with you. He's shooting in for the bed. Um, yeah, he's awful. He feels awful. He just feels so silky. He's stunning. It's just, and uh, I have no worries about him biting him. He's my first snake. And to be honest with you, I'm more worried about my tortoises giving me a little nip than this little man. He's absolutely cracking. Uh, I'm not quite sure if he's a I called him a man, I'm not sure if he's a boy or a girl. And I don't think I'm going to find him any time soon, if I'm honest. He's so small. Oh, look at him. Just, keep the little thing. Just make sure I handle him every single day. So he gets used to it. Because I don't want him getting all nasty on me. And uh, a bit wild then, and uh, make one handle handling. Oh, look at him. Anyway, thought I'd show you a little bit of handle action. Uh, <laughs> To be honest, I'm quite glad he's uh, calmed down a little bit. Anyway, have a nice day, guys. Oh, hello, boy. Ta-da.